Happy Wednesday, everybody. Today is the day where I finally get a haircut. Like, I've been putting off getting a haircut for so long. My hair's out of control. Can't wait to get a haircut. I do also have to record a podcast today, so we'll put a link down in the description down below to the BLT podcast, because it's a lot of fun. And I'm gonna do a time lapse of me recording the podcast. It might turn out cool, because I don't, I don't kind of animate it sometimes, but who knows, it might just be me like, it might just be me talking very calmly to the microphone. You never know, we'll see how it turns out. Mm. Oh yeah, it's all dinged up. But that's not, like, they sent it to you dinged up. Right, that's why I wanted to film this. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. I rented a lens to see if I like it or not. It's a, it's a Sony lens. It's huge. It's a 16 millimeter lens. Well, it's 16 to 35, but man. This thing weighs like three pounds on the front of this camera. It's really interesting because this camera is so small and light because it's not, it's a mirrorless camera. It's not a uh, DSLR, but this lens, it's got stabilization in it and the autofocus. So it's just like full of stuff and glass and like it's a metal lens too. So it's, man, it's intense. But when it came, it was like all dinged up. So I wanted to know if you guys have ever rented lenses and if that's like a normal thing. I figured it would be because like other people have used this lens and like, Taken it out, used it, got it like out in the field so it might not be in the best shape. They might not have like a good bag for it or anything like that. So I'm sure that lenses come dinged up all the time, but maybe I, I don't know, maybe it's just this company that sent me a dinged up lens? Let me know. What company, if you guys rent lenses, if this is something you guys do, what company do you use? I used Lumoid. That was the company that I used. Now that we're done recording the podcast, time to get a haircut. I'm excited. Like, I can't wait to get a haircut. Let's go do it. I got my haircut. This guy right here, this is Doug Roadhamel. He's a friend of mine. He's a local artist. His website is dougroadhamel.com. I think he's trying to spray me. But yeah, you should check him out. If you've ever seen, if you're from Orlando and you remember when there were those mushrooms all over the place, like little paper bag mushrooms, that was Doug Roadhamel. He's a really good artist too. He's getting ready to start doing some cardboard robots, which I'm excited to see. And then on the way home, I stopped at Four Rivers. I know it doesn't look like much, but it is delicious. I got a pulled pork sandwich, fried pickles, baked beans. These are the best baked beans I've ever had in my life. I don't know what is so good about them, but they have such an amazing flavor. And here's mine. Mine really doesn't look like much. It looks kind of gross actually, but it's so good. These are baked cheese grits. I already took a bite out of them. They're delicious, but they packaged them in aluminum foil. So all the cheese that was on top stuck to the foil and I couldn't get it off. So that mm. was a bummer, but still good. I got the coleslaw. I love this coleslaw and brisket. The brisket is like, I don't know if you can see it, but it is so delicious. It's like some of the best brisket ever I've ever had. So what? How do you feel about the pork? I like it. It's good. Yeah. This, is, this is good pork to me. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. I hate to be like this is the best pork I've ever had, and somebody be like oh, I've had better. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best beans I've ever had, though. I stand behind that. You stand behind the beans. Yeah. Oh, beans. I wouldn't stand behind me after the beans, though. <laughs> oh my goodness! We just put out this new shirt, and I love it. <laughs> We've also decided that this little bear is named Dieter. Well, no, Rob. Uh, Rob, the guy that designed it, Rob Yo. Our uh, very wonderful graphic designer. He's so fantastic. I'm actually gonna put a link to his um, shop down below so you can check out his actual merchandise. Um, it's awesome. But he came up with the name. Yeah. He said he looks like a Dieter. Although I just told you guys about that t-shirt, I'm gonna ask you to wait until the 15th because a sale starts on the 15th where it's 20% off of any two or more items. So as long as you purchase two items, you can get 20% off using the coupon code 20P 517. That is if you were planning on buying two. If not, no worries. Tell you guys what, something exciting is coming. Can't tell you what it is just yet, <laughs> but it's exciting. We've been planning it this past like a uh, 
few days. That's why the videos have been kind of like short and just at home, stuff like that. But something exciting is gonna happen. Actually, the next two weeks are gonna be real exciting. We got a lot done today. We got the podcast done. I got a haircut. Uh, we planned a lot of stuff for what's coming up. Oh boy, can't wait. I cannot wait. But now it's like way past my bedtime, I'm super tired. So I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.